Hello, Longmont. Welcome to Car Park. This is, are we North Central, Northwest? What's up? Are we Garden Anchors? Who's, who are we? Where are we? What's going on? Tell me where we are. Car Park, yeah. Okay, my name is Justin Beach. I'm the manager of the museum's Stewart Auditorium. Who's ever been to the Stewart Auditorium? Oh, great. Good. Thanks. Who's ever been to the Longmont Museum? Fantastic. This is the third and final pop-up summer concert of summer 2024. Um, as some of you may know, our courtyard, our cozy little courtyard has been under a major transformation, and it's just about done. It's going from a you know quaint little backyard situation to a 700. We can we'll be able to accommodate 700 people out there with an actual stage that isn't staring directly into the sun and melting the musicians as they play. Um, we're really excited. We're going to be opening that up actually this fall with three concerts in September. So I look forward to that. Um, we also have a major museum expansion. The museum itself is expanding. You know, it's currently the largest museum in Boulder County. Did you know that? Oh. Largest museum in Boulder County. In Longmont, ladies and gentlemen. And it's run by the city of Longmont. Your tax dollars in action. Um, so yeah, we're getting bigger. We have a, we launched a capital campaign. We're about 85% of the way there. And uh, we need some help bringing it home. So if you're interested in um, contributing and helping us make this addition to the museum a reality, please stop by the museum booth at some point. We'll tell you everything you ever wanted to know about it. And if you'd like to give, we'll take. Absolutely. Uh, before we get going, I want to thank a few folks who make our programming possible. The Scientific and Cultural Facilities District, the Stewart Family Foundation, the Friends of the Longmont Museum, our many donors, and of course, our museum members. Do we have any members with us here at Car Park? Yeah. Oh, members. Thank you. We simply can't do all the things that we do without you. So thanks a lot. You can also learn about membership over there at that Longmont Museum booth. We do have one other thing. We do have our exhibition team roaming about, collecting information for upcoming exhibitions. They're going to be handing out these little cards, survey cards, for you to uh, sort and then get back to that tent. So if they come by and ask you for your input, uh, feel free to give it. Um, what else? What else? The Lego ex exhibition. If you got kids, if you are a kid, you're going to want to check out our Lego exhibition, which is up through the fall. Uh, come on down and check us out, especially if you've never been there before. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please welcome to Longmont and to Car Park, Kutandra.
so much for coming out to Car Park tonight. As Justin said, we are Kutangara. We're playing music from Zimbabwe on these beautiful wooden keyed instruments called marimbas. How many of you have seen us before? Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If this is your first time, um, stand by, because you're gonna wanna dance. There's this awesome dance area right behind the sound booth. So if, you, if you're feeling, feeling the vibe, we warmly invite you to jump up, dance with us. Um, if it gets too hot for us up here, we might take a short, short, short break about halfway through. But at any time during the show, come on over to our little teeny table over here. You can hardly see it. But we've got some information about who we are, what we do, and we've got some CDs that you can take home for just $20. So um, we're so happy to be here. Thank you so much, City of Longmont and Longmont Museum, for supporting this three-concert pop-up series. We're so happy to close you out this summer and sit back and enjoy. We are Kutandara.
do a little bit of shifting up here. It's a little cozy, but it's awesome. Are you having, are you enjoying this so far? Yeah, it's so fun. I'm, I'm so wonderful to know that we have returning, you know, returning folks and some new folks seeing us tonight. I want to share a little bit about this instrument in front. So these are all of the large instruments. Those are marimbas. And we based our music off of music from Zimbabwe. This amazing instrument in front, thanks Charlie. <laughs> um, these two instruments in front, these are called the Imbira Zabazimu. And um, they're a really cool instrument. They're a board and they have keys and they're played using your thumbs and fingers. A traditional instrument. And um, so you heard that in the last song and you're gonna hear it in this song as well. Now I have to say, I'm seeing some toe tapping, some head nodding, a little bit of moving. So we're gonna get you warmed up. I need your, I need your voices in this song. So the language that we sing is a um, language called Shona, and it's not going to be a hard part, I promise you. So we're going to get you started. You're going to sing Yarara. Try that with me. Yarara. You got it. Ready? Yarara. Baba. Baba. That's it. Oh, you've got it. You're professional. Okay. Yeah. 
Are you having a good time tonight? Yeah. You know, you know what the name of this band means, Kandara? It means to get together and have a good time. So that's what we're doing here. What I absolutely love about this music is that it's community music. We have on stage people in high school. We have people who have recently graduated from college. We have professional musicians, and we have us mid '60s some things who just latched on to this music somehow. Um, but that's the way it is in Zimbabwe. Everybody contributes, but it's not only the people on stage who contribute. It's all of you too. So that singing was a great start, but if you really enjoy the music, this space over here needs to be filled by the end of the night, okay? So we wanna see some dancing, we wanna see some moving. This is not sedentary music, this is Get up and shake it easy, all right? Okay.
for it. Gosh, you're such a great audience. You like really like us. Yeah. Seems like you really like us. We kind of like you too. <laughs> but I'm a little shy. No, I'm not really shy. Um, so my name is Amy. Am I back? Yeah. Okay. Let's give it up for our sound engineer last. This is a lot to deal with. There's a lot going on up here. Yeah, so we met last um, couple of years ago at E-Town, and we've actually been, I don't know if I said it when I first introduced the band, we actually started, um, we formed in the fall of 1998. So we're celebrating our 25th anniversary as a band and as an organization. Yeah, I think that deserves a round of applause, a little stick-to-itiveness. Anybody been married 25 years or more? Did it take a little stick-to-itiveness? A little, yes. Okay, so um, like I said, my name's Amy, we're Kutandata, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary. You may or may not know, besides being a band, we're also a nonprofit music studio in Boulder. We've been in Boulder County for 25 years, and we teach classes. So if you're feeling like, huh, how did they learn how to do that? You can come to this little table over here, to my left, your right, anytime during the show. And after the concert, if you want to stick around, if the mosquitoes haven't gotten too bad, um, some of us will be over there, and we warmly invite you to come talk to us about our music, about how we each got involved, about how this music has touched our hearts. Um, many of us have been to Zimbabwe, studied for many years with Zimbabweans. Um, our director of productions, Blessing Chimanga, our newest staff member who is from Zimbabwe, newly just one year here in the States, unfortunately is not here with us tonight, but he sends his best. He's actually judging a steel pan and international marimba festival in South Africa right now. So let's just give a shout out to Blessing Chimanga. Um, and I want to say just a few words about the next song. The next song we're going to be playing comes from this Mbira tradition, that thumb piano that Jake and Charlie were playing earlier. This song um, is a deep, old song from Zimbabwe, from that Mbira tradition. And the name of the song is Nyuchi. Can you say Nyuchi? Nyuchi, with an N-Y-U, Nyuchi, which means bees, bumblebees. And the song to us has taken on a meaning of caring for our world and caring for this earth. And, you know, I think all of us can agree that uh, climate change is upon us. And for us to turn anything around, we each have to make a decision about how we're going to grab onto that problem and solve it with our community. And so I'm so grateful that you've come together in community here tonight um, to be with us. We think music is healing, and that's why we do this music together. So thank you for being here with us tonight. This next one is Nuchi. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
graduated from the Team Performance Band, and I've been playing for about 10 years now. And one of my favorite parts about this music is the community. I love just coming together and playing this awesome music with all these cool people, and I love the way the music makes me feel, and so I hope you feel the same. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. This next song we're going to do is a song that belongs to a blessing. As Amy mentioned earlier, he is not with us. And so this is to honor him tonight. This song is about loving who you are and without apologies. And so I'm going to let you all right now, you're all on standby. I definitely need your help with this song. Here we go.
Let's hear it for Kutandra, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe they fit 20 people up here? 20 people on this little stage. And all these giant marimbas. I want to tell you about something we have coming up. It's our first ever, some people might call it our inaugural, Sunset Soiree. And this is a, our first major fundraiser. And it's going to take place September 7th in our brand new Stewart family courtyard. That's the courtyard with the great new stage and the beautiful flat lawn. It's, it's gorgeous. It's, it'll hold up to uh, 700. And we're gonna kind of, uh, we're gonna do a bit of a ribbon cutting, basically. We're going to unveil the courtyard on September 7th at the Sunset Square. Tickets are 100 bucks per person. That includes dinner, uh, music, Cocktails, and when I say cocktails, I mean open bar. 100 bucks, guys. And it all goes to support the Lamont Museum. And you can uh, you can check us out on, if you've ever bought tickets from us, who's bought tickets from the Lamont Museum for a show or anything? Well, you're in for a big treat. We have a special website set up for this where tickets are very easily purchased, right? Uh, it is, what is it? supportlongmontmuseum.org. So you just go there and you purchase your tickets. And if, uh, I think we're about a third of the way there, so if uh, maybe these 200 people over here just purchase tickets, we'd be all the way. How's that sound? This, raise your hand, 200 people, great. Got it, good, thanks. Um, what else is going on? How are you guys? Yeah, you're welcome. How long has Kutandra been around? 25 years. You guys probably just went over this, didn't you? It's okay. What are some uh, some some uh, factoids about Kutandra that I can offer up these guys? Use the mic, please. There's a mic right in front of you. There this you one? Oh. Any and all ages can learn this music. <laughs> uh, music does not know age. So there are amazing classes you can take at the Kutan Data Center. And if you would like some information, um, come grab it over here. There's classes that run um, fall and spring. We have a variety of concert series that we do summertime. We have camps um, and then a variety of performance ensembles from youth up to adults. So we'd love for you to come join us located just down in Boulder. And you guys perform all over the front range, right? More or less? We do, yes. What's your next show, you know? Actually, we're going to be at the uh, Louisville Farmer's Market this Saturday morning. You want to come on out? Louisville, Saturday morning, yeah. Farmer's Market. Kutandara. Can you pronounce that for me? Kutandara. Kutandara. Everyone can say that. Kutandara. Kutandara. I think I need it. Okay. okay. Is this the hottest concert you've ever done? No. It feels hot. We're doing good. How are we feeling? Yeah? This guy's, this guy's feeling great over here. Has anybody been over to Nacho Mama's Tacos? Oh, yeah. Nacho Mama's Tacos is fantastic. I just, they've, got a, they've got a really good thing going over there. And the kettle corn truck, you know, they have this great lemonade slushy. It just about saved my life. It's hot out here. What else can I tell you? Oh, they're coming back. Thank God. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Kutandara. All right. Hello, you all. Thank you so much for coming on this lovely summer night, even with all of the air quality things going on. Thank you for showing up and being here and engaging. This is so beautiful to see so many beautiful faces outside. So this next song is called Magig, 
The story with the song is that the original version of it was written by three guys in Zimbabwe. And when a group from the studio was doing a visit in Zimbabwe, which the studio sometimes does annually, not this year, but often does, they go to learn and to perform and to teach. And when they saw these three men from Zimbabwe performing this song, they said, we have to know how to play this. It is so much fun. And so they taught them how to do it, and it's eventually morphed into a version that is specific to this band. But it is so much fun to play, and we hope you have as much fun listening to it. Thank you so much.
want to do. Oh yeah, anyone can do it, I promise. It's so much fun. So we're going to move into another song here. This one is from an artist uh, who left us too soon. Her name is Chiwaniso. This is a beautiful meditative song that uh, you're going to hear the marimba version of this tonight. Um, but if you go on Spotify and you look for this song, it's called Iwai Nisu. It's one you're going to want to add to your Spotify playlist, I promise. The electric version is just gorgeous. And uh, we hope you enjoy this one tonight. Iwai Nisu.
coming in on saxophone. Well, when you're looking for that song on your Spotify list tonight, this next one is another one that Chiwanisa did. This one is called Vano Rafa. Hey, thanks for sticking around tonight. You've been great. Thank you so much.
is a very special song. This song was written for our lovely executive director, Miss Amy Stewart McIntosh. She's back here. It was written for her by the love of her life, our artistic director, Mr. Randy McIntosh. Yeah. And this is so fun because, so how did a farm girl like me, I'm, I'm a farm girl, I grew up here in Colorado, how did I end up doing Zimbabwean music? Well, it's a wonderful story. It started at Colorado State University where I met Randy. I've known Randy, I'm not gonna say how long it's been. But he introduced me to this music in 2000. He said, hey, do you wanna come sing with my band? And I said, sure. And I went, what is this? And I got hooked, just absolutely hooked on it. And we did this amazing album um, in uh, 2003, the Rugare album. And uh, this song is called Moyo Wangu. And um, it's all about love. It's all about love. So, and happiness and rejoicing. So, sit back and enjoy this song. <laughs>
guys, I think, I think we have to stop by eight. And by the tell of my watch, we still have time for one more song. Yeah. Woo! yeah, we want to respect the neighbors around us by ending on time, but um, gosh, it was fun to be here with you tonight. It was so fun. I love each of you. I love each and every one of you, especially the dancers. And this woman right here gets the number one dancing award. Give it up for her. Yeah, just follow her lead. Um, before we do our last song, I do want to introduce the band because they're special and important and they're the ones that made the music and they loaded the trailer and they fixed the flat tire on the truck today and then they brought a different truck and there was so much chaos and so much community. I want to just give a shout out to a couple special people. Um, first I want to say a big, big thank you to our oldest and longest standing percussion member. He was in our very first iteration of our very first band and played on our very first CD. His name is Scott Parker Mast on the Kungas tonight. I won't tell you how long I've known him. Um, I also want to give it up for one of our very special horn players. I hope he's on stage. Yes, he is. Um, one of our very first horn players played with us on our second CD and many, many others was our graphic designer, our web designer for many years. His son was in our team performance program, a huge supporter of us all these years. On alto sax tonight, Kurt Ehrenman. You already know Brecken. I almost said Line Weber. What? That's her maiden name. Um, Brecken's also been with us so, so long. Took a sabbatical for a number of years and is back this summer with us, and we couldn't be happier to have on lead vocals Brecken Santeramo. <laughs> All right, in no particular order, except I should give a shout out to one of our younger members who actually changed the tire today on the truck and was our interface with the sound engineer. Uh, he's been a student of mine since he was five years old, in, in, an adult in his own right these days. On marimba tonight, Mr. Perry Lawrence. Okay, now in no particular order. Um, behind me, fabulous, fabulous backup vocalist, also singing some lead tonight, my daughter and another favorite young adult of mine, Eliza McIntosh and Skylar Armstrong. Okay, uh, another young adult who has been a student of mine for many, many years. I won't tell you how long I've known him. On the drum set tonight, Mr. Noah Randall. Okay, let's take care of the rest of that horn line over there. So, um, I've known Ian Brighton for a while, but he hasn't played with us since like 2006. He had, got married and had kids and we had a kid and, and well, I mean, Ian and I didn't have a kid. I had a kid with Randy. Um, but playing tenor sax tonight, Mr. Ian Brighton. And then um, two new friends that we've met this year, so lovely to have with us tonight on trumpet, Miss Brianne Crockett. And on alto sax, Mr. Sam Kelly. I'm already amazed at how many names I've remembered. Oh my god. And now I have to do the marimba players. Okay, I'm just going to look at them. Can I take this off the stand? I can. Les is not giving me a dirty look. Okay. All right, in the front here, Miss Heather Doty on marimba. Right behind Heather, also on marimba, Miss Maria Elrond. On the big one in the back, Mr. Charlie Kazaya. Yeah. All right, playing lead marimba on this song, Mr. Jake Golder. Yeah. Right next to Jake Golder in the front row, Mr. Charlie Pahati. Yeah. All right, behind Charlie on the alto line, Miss Angela, is it still Ely? Miss Angela Ely. <laughs> oh my God, I've known Angela since she was six also. And now she's grown up and has a baby and he's here tonight. Where's Everett? Where'd he go? Bye. Hi, Everett. Hello. Uh, okay, we already said hi to Perry, but give it up for Perry again. Playing marimba, Mr. Perry Lawrence. Um, and then back in the back. Right now on Hosho, the Shakers, Mr. David Simon. All right, and on the baritone currently is Miss Rihanna Magruder. Did I get everybody? So embarrassing if I didn't. Um, 
I don't know where Randy is. Oh, there he is. So um, special thanks to our artistic director and my husband, love of my life, Mr. Randy McIntosh. <laughs> All right, you guys have heard from me a ton. My name's Amy Stewart McIntosh, and if you liked us, come see us again. We're playing at the Louisville Farmer's Market next Saturday at 9 a.m., and then later in August, we'll be playing at the City of Boulder's On the Rise concert series. So grab one of our flyers or a card, look us up online, follow us on Instagram. We'd love to see you again at another show. Um, let's give another hand for the City of Longmont and the Longmont Museum. All right, guys, we're pushing 8 o'clock. we got one more song for you. This is a great dance song. It's called Chaka Naka Chaka Naka, which means a good thing is good. Don't fix what ain't broke.
September, and don't forget our big fundraiser on September 7th. Who bought tickets? You all bought tickets? Thank you. See you around soon. <laughs>